is Christmas Eve and this is your workout for today. It's going to be a very short one because nobody has time to do anything, including myself. So max will be about 20 minutes. Hang in there. Uh, you need some weights if you've got them. If not, you can just, um, uh, you know, kind of modify and I'll try and help you along with that. Remember to be careful, modify as needed, always consult a physician before you work out, and let's get to it. 30 second intervals, we're just going to go, so follow along with me. Here we go, high knee jogs to start. Remember you can always march in place, just do what you're comfortable with. do push-ups and jacks. You can always modify and go to your knees. You're going to lie on your back, grab your weights, chest press, and leg drop. Remember to only lower your legs as low as you feel comfortable going. Burpees for 30 seconds. Now this burpee is going to have a squat jump at the top if you can. If you can't burpee, make it up as you go, modify, just do squats or lunges. Mountain climbers, right here, bring those knees to the toes. These are all going to be very basic work, or movements that we do in, typically in class, just because it's so short today. Keep those feet moving. Keep your shoulders and wrists aligned if possible. your weights. If you only have one, you can alternate. You're going to be kicking back here. Make sure you're straightening. And there goes my side. Straightening and bending the elbow. Plank jacks, but this time you're going to add a row. So if you're going on your knees, that's fine. If the row is too hard, just do your plank jacks with the push up.
on your back. This time chest flies with legs up, so you can always bend the knees. Do one leg at a time, whatever works best for you. Okay, burpees again. This time you're going to add a jump to the side when you come down. Grab your weights. One foot stays forward, one stays back, lunge and curl. Again, legs out to the side, we'll do the other side lunging curl. Weights, other foot forward. Weights in, hops, uh, single leg hops. So just like that to the side. Back rows, bent over, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Okay, you're going to do diamond donkey kicks, so you're going to bring your feet together like that, your toes together. You can always modify by doing butt kicks, standing up, jogging, lifting those heels up towards your butt. 
Like I said, this one's going to be real short, so might as well do a couple of things, give it your all, and then get on with your day. Excellent. On your mat again. You're going to pull your knees in and roll back out. Do the best you can. those diamond donkey kicks or butt kicks floor on your side. I do these a lot but they work. Grab one weight. Look, double leg drop, single arm tricep press. Remember, you can bend your knees if you need to. Windmill, single arm chest fly. You can keep your knees as bent as you need to or as straight as you can. Remember, don't go all the way down to the floor. Again, these are all movements that if you take my classes regularly, you know them, you see them. It's just not a day to mess around. I don't have time, you don't have time. Let's just do a few things and move on. So you feel like you got some stress out. down. You're going to do jump over the fence, either standing or down here with me. All you do is just pick those legs up and jump over a fence. You can do the same thing standing. On your back, single leg trap or double leg drop with the single arm tricep press or overhead press, I should say. It's good to isolate the arms like this because then you can feel what your weaker side is or what arm is weaker. You can focus on that. A lot of times when you use two weights, you don't realize that the other arm is helping by providing some momentum. So. 